Yeah, hello guys, good day. My name is Hazan Adiola, and you're welcome to today's tutorial. It's been a while, but I'm back, and I'm back for good. So, on today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this design. Yeah, it's a cool events program or program of events, or whichever way. So, here's a simple design I made some few weeks back. That is on the 14th of January, it's one month plus now. So I made it for Chris Morgan and friends. So it's a very nice one. So we'll just jump quickly into it. But before we do that, I want to urge you guys to please subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel. This is Azan Adela Photoshop Tutorials. You can just type Azan Adela to come up. So subscribe to my channel. Watch my videos and other tutorials that can be of help to you. So, and don't forget to click on the notification bell as well. So, thank you guys. Let's jump quick into this. So, we'll just start by creating a new layer, Control N, and we'll wait. So, once it's click, our normal setting is 1600 by 1600. It's an online design for social media sake. So, it's not something we are printing. So, we are not using the A4 or A3, whatever paper size. So we are just using our square design for social media and that is 1600 by 1600 and our resolution remains 100 color mode RGB background white and leave other things as they are pixels don't forget so we'll click on create once we click on create the first thing we want to do is to create our background so we are going to create a simple background by using our gradient tool and we are selecting this basic gradient tool so we'll fill the both side and we'll change this red part to a deep yellow something like this and we click on this white portion and we select a lighter yellow so we'll give it a shade of light and dark once we do that we we'll click ok ok and we'll go to our style and set it to radia so when we set this to radia we in reverse it we want the lighter one to be inside and the darker one to be out so reverse and get something like this so we can just increase this white lighter one a little bit yeah to like this so we are good to go so the first thing i'll try to bring is my background i'm going to be using and the background i'm going to be using for this app arrange everything all the files you'll be needing for this tutorial in a folder for you i'm going to zip it and keep the link on the youtube page so these are majorly everything we are using for this design. So quickly, I'll pick up my background. It's called Gold Wallpaper. Yeah. So I'll drag it to my Photoshop immediately. Then I'll drop it on it. Once I drop it on it, the next thing I want to do is, it's too sharp, so I need to blur it a little bit. So I'll go to my filter and go to my blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'll reduce it like that. So I'll reduce it to blur, so something. Something like this probably, probably will work good for us. So I'll press OK. Then I'll change my blending mode to overlay. Yeah, something like that. Then I'll reduce the opacity to 70. So I guess we are, it's looking good. So the next thing I want to do is, let me see what I did <laughs> so that I won't make mistake. So, okay, the next thing is, this is about like helping orphanage or something like helping the children, helping the less privileged. So I thought of using images of less privileged children, which I got online free. So I got this image and I just inserted it and reduced the size. So all these stuff are there in the folder I'm sharing with you guys. So just reduce the size and make it. Look. So what I did to this was just to duplicate one image or two, but I clip it so you won't really know what's going on. You won't know that it's really the same image that was used. So let me reduce this, this, this. So something like this would do. So I will duplicate. Yeah, once I duplicate, I will mark the two and Ctrl T again to expand so it will be equal then i will i'll flip one i don't want them to look the same so i'll flip one upside down 
like this. So after doing that, I'll duplicate the two and drag both down here. Yeah, something like that. Then I'll flip probably both of them again horizontally, stuff like this. So when I do this, it's looking. Then I change this to was it? As I change it to something like this or soft light. Then we should go with soft light, yeah. Something that is not that thick, yeah. Let me see what I overlay. Okay, so we we'll change it to overlay. So that's how we got that effect there. So the next thing I want to do is to carry my model's image. That is the next thing I'd like to do. Quickly, we just pick our model. This is Chris Morgan. So we'll pick our model and we place the image here. Then we'll click on our quick selection tool and just make a quick selection. I'm trying to be as fast as possible on this tutorial. I don't want to take much of the time. So just bear with me. You can pause it, you can slow the video down if you wish. So you can really get what, what I'm doing perfectly. So, so you just take your time and make your selection. If you are not too good at choosing quick selection, you can make it over that to like the pen to the polygonal lasso to and which one again? Yeah, this is the polygonal lasso to in case you polygonal lasso to and the pen to this one. So you can make it of them. But if you are good with the quick selection tool, then you can just do this. But you can follow this tutorial and you know how I made it of it. So quickly after making the selection, just after selecting, select inverse, because we are removing the image from the background and not the other way. And click select and mask. So so once we click select our max, we wait for it to load. It's loading, taking much time, I don't know why. So just wait patiently for it. Yeah. Start load. So you drag your smooth like 51. And we'll drag our shift edge like 50 and we'll press OK and we'll put that click on our layer max our layer max to hide the background. So this is how we remove our background easily. So just carry our brush. I'm seeing some lines, so I need to clean them. Put your color at black. You know how to use the layer max on the one I'm saying. Hey, probably this day I'll be teaching you guys easy like beginners tutorial on how to make use of this stuff. So from there, you can easily follow each other. So if you want beginners tutorial, you can just click on the comment box and say you want the beginners tutorial. So we can work on that together. But if not, you can as well move on. So I'm seeing some things here, some yellow. So it's like I mistakenly cut here. So I'm going to paint it white to wipe this place back here. Yeah. So if you notice the image, the image is not that, how I call it, not that bright. It doesn't blend with the background, stuff like that. So what we are going to do quickly is this. We are going to use our colors to make the image blend, add more yellow to the image, add back. Add, oh, I call it, take our course up, bring this down, then add yellow to it by minusing blue. Then we add a little plus of blue to it also. And our green, we minus it to give it magenta feel. Then we go to our red. We will increase our red a little bit. Yeah, something like this. So we'll now go to our RGB again and carry out, take our yellow off, something like we should do. So, oh, I wish I can be done with this thing within 30 minutes, but really taking time. So, 
I guess this is how it should look like. So, but after then, I need to use my Topaz lab, which I always use for my image retouching. If the client doesn't have a problem with this, so I normally use it. But depending on your client choice, you want this picture natural, then you just leave it like that for you. But if it's cool with you using it, then I prefer you make use of it because it makes the whole work look artistic and comes out grace like seriously. So we are going to use both details, just add a little bit, don't overdo it. So and we are going to use the past lab, the noise. So this is the noise, set it as strongest, then drag it to like 50. Okay, and wait for it to load. So, once it just load, we just convert it to smart object. So, what's happening? The next thing we are going to do is to write our title so we in a nutshell we are almost done so there's no much thing to do apart from typography now so we'll create a shape a shape quickly shape remove this order after creating the shape we change the color to red why i'm putting this red is because i want to write my typo i want to write something but I can't make use of, I'm using yellow for my type, but if I should write yellow on yellow, it won't come out. So you won't, what I'm writing will be simple. So I need to put something like this behind. So we just drag this shape behind the uh, model's image. So increase it that way. So what I want to do now is, I want to, a sound of air coming together. So I guess the font I used was okay. This was Deutsch Deutschlander. So you can just Google this font and download Deutschlander. I'm not including it on the in the full in the zip file. So you can just download it. It's free, I guess. So a sound, a sound of of app so when I write my sound of app I'll we'll wait for it to load don't mind my system is slow I don't too many stuff are on it so just bear with me oh So uh, I want to see the sound of the app, yeah, correct. So I'll just drag my right up here. So I'll increase the size. The sound. The sound, yeah, something like that. So, so I'll bring this down in the bit again probably bring my image down the I just want to see I want to be sure of the size that I used okay 206 so I'll just copy this I want to be I want it to be accurate 206 so I will paste it 206 yeah. So this is the size I used. So I will reduce this stuff. The sound of app. So I'll write my comment together. I'll just drag it. So you've seen the way I wrote that. So I'll just drag my comment together.
I'm looking for the coming together. Okay, I wrote it together. So I'll just come here and continue my write up. Just come. Come in. Right, come in. Give, use your tab to give space. I try it. Come in. So, yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. So I will reduce the distance. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. So I'll reduce the typeface, the size. I'll reduce it, reduce, reduce, probably like this. You no. Know? Something something like this should do. Yeah. So now now I'll give it more space. More space, then I will take it up again. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, perfect. I'll bring this one here. So I'll check my format design. Okay. So something is wrong. So the other thing is wrong with this is the fact that I need to see the size of this one so that I'll be sure. 115. So 115. I'll just copy and paste. Yeah. So. So I'll bring this one up again. I guess the spacing is too much. I'll close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Yeah. It's perfect now. So the next one I want to do is I want to pick this color. So I just I just I want just want to make sure it's correct the color. So the red, I'll just select this color I pick. So this kind of red. So I'll just make it like this. Sure. So the next one I want to do is I want to blow, do a motion blow for you. I don't just want it to be like this. I want something. So this is an horizontal blow. But I'm not going for that. I'm going for a vertical blow. Hope I'm correct. Vertical should be like this. Yeah, like so. So just press OK. And we are good to go. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add an effect to my text, which is to our next text, the sound of help coming together. That's our subject. So I'll just add baby and emboss to it. So baby and emboss to be so I'll show you I'll copy and paste it. So but you guys can I'm not here to teach you how to do layer style. So but you can <laughs> you can probably copy the setting when I paste it. Let me paste it so you guys can see the setting. I will open it so you can see paste that ah, that is it. So I'll open it so you can see the setting. You can just screenshot it so you use it for yours. So let me zoom in. These are this is the bare view setting. Your blend mode normal opacity 100. Sorry, I was your style is in our bare view. Techniques most depth 334. Direct direction should be up. Your size should be 13. Soft should be zero. And this your user global life is on tick. The angle should be minus 90. The close contour should be what they call it, the first one. So linear, liner, or is it linear, whichever one. High light mode should be vivid light. Opacity should be 38. Doesn't mean you can't play with it, you can play around with it properly. So it's not much that you do what I do. You can be creative about it. You can come out with something better. So the next thing is your drop shadow. Your drop shadow should be like this. You just take note of all this stuff. Press your OK. You should get something like this. So once we get this looking more like it, so the next thing we are going to do is just write our the other 
tied to at the top, the voiceless foundation. So the foundation kind of thing. So I'll just write the voiceless foundation. So my typing is very small. No. So the font I used for that was price down. So just type price down. Yeah, price down black is the font. So I'll just click here, yeah, drag it. And the color was white. So I'll reduce the size of the voiceless foundation. My foundation is not spelled correctly, so voiceless. Um, yeah, something like that. So, looking more or less like he, uh, I added shadows to it, but I don't think I need the shadow there. Looking good. So, the next thing we want to do is we're almost done. The next thing is just to put this white shape here, yeah, like so. Create a white shape and remove this border as usual. Select white. Once you select your white, you just drag your white up above your image to cover your image, yeah, stuff like that. So once it covers like this, so you bring it down a little bit. Some, some, something like this should do. So I want to clean, I want to hide my image body here. I don't need all this part of this body. So I'll just delete this part by holding my heart. After making selection, holding my heart and clicking on the marks to hide that portion. So this is how it should look like. So after that, all you need is this wooden, this right top, I'll just drag them. These are months to red, so it's just simple right up. There's no effect, special effect on them. So I, I, I don't need to be typing them, I'll just drag them to this design and just move forward. Please, I hope you understand. You want to take your time. So I'm just looking for the for the right top. Okay, at give and take. So I'll drag this at give and take the address. Hold my shift so it will Okay, good thing. So I'll drag it up, drag it up. So, so this stuff still needs to be done. So, the next thing I want to pick now is the, okay, this is my little what they call it little border I created uh, just highlight them and just paste it here so I wanna pick this last one that is one voice African ministry I'll pick it where is it where is it one voice African ministry okay this is it so I just pick and drag, hold my shift, yeah, like so. And one of the other things I'm picking is my, what do you call it, my location icon. I'll pick and drag also hold my shift, yeah. So I guess we're almost done. So the next thing I'm doing is the date. The same thing, these are simple ways, simple stories. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you the lightning, the lightning effect and every other thing, the color grading effect, everything I did on it, they are on the zip file. I'm going to share the files with you that I said earlier. So I'm just going to copy these bits and time. So I'm just looking for the date. Okay, let me first carry the logo, one voice African logo. I'll just pick it, okay. The shape beneath it is very important. So I'll locate the shape. I'll locate the shape, please. 
Let me remove my lightning so I can see the shape. Fancy. Okay, let me remove my color BJ also. Okay. Okay, this is it. I've seen it. So this is so this is I'll just analyze them and drag them both on my shift. Yeah, something like that. So after that I would also do the same to my dates and my date, yeah. Yeah, is it? Sorry, that is not a triangle for it, it's a triangle. So I'll just drag to this and to this. This is a just shape, so another thing we could do. So these are the smaller shapes I forgot to pick them. So I'll just pick them and drag. Oh my shift. So this I should look like. So for my for my lightning effect, I'll just go to my light. Let me use this first. Use this. Yeah. So I will just use this and create something here. So I'll locate this stuff. So it's normal, but it's on 70. So I'll put it at the back of our image, pardon to affect my image. So, so it's 70. So it's on 70. Let's leave it at 70. Yeah. So the next thing I want to do is yeah, I call it splash particles. I just give it the name. It's a brush. I use the brush to do it, but I just save the stuff for you so you can see. So the next thing I want to do is let me go back to my design. I will take it up. So I'll add my light effect over my shift. So I'll change the to screen or I like use screen. So let me check for this. Is this screen? Yeah, it's screen. So it's screen. So this other one, this are, that is my light flares. So I'll go and pick my light glow. I want the image to blend with the background very well. So I'll put my light line put somewhere on the face here and change to screen also something like this. Yeah. So I'll just reduce the opacity if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I didn't reduce here, but I felt it should be reduced here. So, yeah, something like this. I feel it's too much. So I'll just reduce like that. So the next thing I want to do is on the image, I added a, an effect to the image. I'll double click and use outer glow. The outer glow I use. So this outer glow. I'm going to use the yellow color. So I'm going to So something like that. Something like this. So something like this should do. So I'm going to I'm seeing some place that is being affected if needs. I need to clean them up. So Something like this is good. So what next again is to add my what again? Yeah, my color BJ. My color BJ should be um.
I don't know lighting or value. Let me check. Lighting so is lighting 50. So it's lighting that so reduces it to 50. So the next thing I want to do is the name, as I forgot. As I forget, please. So I'm just looking for the name, powered by, yeah. So I'll just pick this and just go my shift and drag. So this is just simply how this was made. It's as simple as A, B, C. So please, if you have any question, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Razan Adela, so I can keep creating more content for you. If you have any questions, please kindly drop and be sure that I will reply to your comments. Yeah, so that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much. My name is Razan Adela. See you guys next week. Bye.